these things were very significantly relevant when deities were created in a certain way. When I say deities were created in a certain way, so all this has become one big hodgepodge. It become one big hodgepodge because the culture was created, understanding the phenomenal complexity of life. But the instruments and the institutions which were to transmit this from generation to generation got seriously disturbed in the last eighteen hundred years because of invasions and things like that. Otherwise, this is a very sophisticated science. Not everybody went to every temple at one time. There were some temples which were for general well-being where everybody went. But for specific purposes, people went only to their Kula Daivam. Even today, remnants of that are there, people are going, but the Daivam may not be created anymore, understanding the science. So why the Kula Daivam is, today, even if somebody died a hundred years ago, they can dig up something and if they found one tiny little bone, they can take it, go to the laboratory, check the DNA, check your DNA and say, this was your grandfather. Yes or no? Even if somebody died ten thousand years ago, if they find a remnant of something, today you can take the mummies in Egypt, which are over four thousand years old, you can take the DNA of this mummy and trace it down to somebody in Egypt who is right now protesting on the street that this was Tutankhamun's progeny. <laughs> Possible, yes? The science gives you this excess. So similarly, we identified, you must understand this is relevant only when everything else was maintained. You know, there's a whole lot of uh, struggle going on in Haryana about the cup and chayats saying that these cousin brothers and cousin sisters should not marry, this is sacrilege. See, I do not know whether they're aware of why they're protesting. But if they're truly aware, you have to respect it. They may be just protesting because you're breaking the norm. But essentially why this was done is, they maintained the genetic track way back for thousands of years they maintained the genetic track in their own way. Never mixing it up, never doing anything which will disturb the track so that the progeny comes out well. And not only that, you can create a certain energy which travels through the track. Everybody in your kula need not go to the temple. You go and pray, everybody benefits because all of us is connected. Right now, this will happen, the future of medical science is this, that if they find some pure genetic material, when we say a pure line of genetics, they can do it like this, that they can find something that works for your DNA, just spray it in the air. All the people who have that type of DNA will benefit instantly. Right now they are saying, Asians have this kind of DNA and they are more prone to diabetes. Americans have this kind of DNA, they are prone to something else. Aren't they saying this? So if you just add one supplement into the Asian diet or into the American diet or into the European diet, you can change the way people live. This has happened. These things have happened in United States that they have added certain… this thing to as a part of their bread making and everything. Lot of ailments that they were suffering in forties and fifties are gone in that country because people have that kind of DNA and they're being treated in a certain way unknowingly. The current generation do not even know about it, but it's a part of their bread making, they're taking in certain things and certain things are settled. For example, in fifties, United States has a huge 
uh, number of cases of diabetes, which India is facing right now. So D3 as a vitamin, they found if you add D3 to those people's diet, their diabetes will go away. They added D3 to the bread making, there's hardly any diabetes in the United States. Now it's coming to us, but we eat D3, it will not work the same way for the Asian genetics, we need to find something else. We can tell you what you need to eat <laughs> So, they understood this and they maintained this genetic line so strictly and they established an energy source for this particular DNA, for this particular kind of genetic trend. And when they go there, they are not telling some god up there, they are just registering. This is me, I belong to this line, this is my gotra, this is my nakshatra, this is my kula, means I am registering my DNA material, I am saying this is my DNA, do something to me. It is the most scientific way of handling it. Science gone bad, technology not transferred properly, today it's all mixed up, so it will not work the same way. If they had maintained those genetic lines, you could make it work like that. But now you fall in love with the girl next door, she could be anything. Your choices have become more important than maintaining those kind of things. I mean, society has changed, so those things have become irrelevant. But when things were maintained like that, it was a very relevant thing. It is a wonderful understanding of life, a fabulous understanding of genetics and how it functions.